Well, if you're missing Vidalia onions, there's some good news. The Peruvian sweet onion season is underway, and it offers a very similar experience. Southeast Produce Weekly's Chip Carter explains. You know the name John Schumann and Schumann Farms associated with the Vidalia onions, but what you might not know is John is one of the major players in the Peruvian sweet onion deal. That's an off-season counterpart to Vidalia. Demand for that Vidalia onion, people loved them so much, it was so mm. strong. You guys had to find an off-season onion that would fit the place on the plate that Vidalia has in our hearts in the spring and summer. Amen, and, I, and I'll tell you, a lot of people don't know the backstory of the history of the sweet onion category itself, and it all started with the Vidalia onion, and the popularity of that onion drove uh, retailers to, to, to recognize that there's something different going on here, and this is a whole new category. And they said, you know, hey, we want this onion year round. Well, we looked around and couldn't do it in South Georgia. We can't produce but one crop a year in South Georgia. So we took these these short day variety sweet onions and we took them down to South America and we looked around for several years for the optimum, the best growing environment we could find. And we've landed in Peru. And I mean, it's been since early to mid nineties, this has been going on. And over the years, this industry continues to grow. It is the major provider of sweet onions to the United States and to North America. Uh, during its market window of September to March. And I think it's very important to note that that onion has gotten better and better and better each year and each generation. Well, it has. You know, the growing practices down in Peru have changed. You know, we've invested. Some of our competition has also invested down there in infrastructure. And over the past 20 plus years, uh, we've sort of refined that process. The majority of the Peruvian sweet onions are imported through the Port of Savannah, most specifically in the southeastern U.S., though. And the reason that is is because the most technologically advanced, the most concentrated sweet onion infrastructure in the entire country already exists in Vidalia, Georgia. Already exists in Vidalia, Georgia, so it makes perfect sense to bring these onions into the southeast and to, and to house them and to pack them and process them where the infrastructure is. I guess that would also give Vidalia growers and Peruvian growers and importers, you are able to keep a workforce employed 12 months out of the year pretty much. I can't tell you the, the economic impact that the Peruvian onion makes on the southeastern United States, if not the entire eastern seaboard. It's a win-win um, for the consumer, for the retailer, and for the shipper, uh, most definitely for Schumann Farms. I know you already miss your Vidalia onions. It's going to be a long time before you get some more. If you haven't tried them, go get some of these Peruvian sweets. You won't regret it. In Nashville, Tennessee, I'm Chip Carter from SoutheastProduceWeekly.com reporting for RFD-TV. As always, thank you, Chip. Now, J Chip is boots on the ground at the Georgia National Fair this week. It's underway through the weekend. Of course, stay tuned to RFD-TV for his reports from that annual event.